Unfortunately, the Leader of the Opposition is isolating, so I'm calling Ed Miliband to ask the question on behalf of the Opposition. Ed Miliband. Th thank you. Uh, Just, just, just like the old day. Just, just to say, I presume you all want to get onto the budget because all you're doing is delaying it. Ed Miliband. I, I just want to reassure both sides of the house: it's one time only that I'm back. <laughs> uh, mi mi Mr. Mi mi Mr. Mr. Speaker, we all need the vital COP26 summit in Glasgow to deliver uh, next week because failing to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees will have devastating consequences for our planet, and that is shared across this House. Does the Prime Minister agree that to keep that goal of 1.5 degrees alive, we need to roughly halve global emissions in this decisive decade? Uh, well, I, I, I welcome the right honourable gentleman to, uh, to his place, and, and indeed, I think, I, I, I think the whole House will extend uh, our sympathies to the, to the leader of the opposition. I hope he uh, returns, uh, returns soon. Uh, it is, of course, uh, correct, Mr. Speaker, that uh, COP26 is both unbelievably important for our planet, uh, but also very difficult, and it's in the balance. Can I urge him? He mustn't shift the goalposts when it comes to Glasgow. It is about the emergency we face this decade. It's about the NDCs this decade. Please keep the focus on 2030, not 2050 and beyond. He's right to say uh, that we need to keep the, the pressure up. What you can't do, Mr Speaker, is go in advance of what is truly practicable uh, for, for the world economy and for what, and for what people uh, can do. Uh, this government will go as fast as we, as we possibly can. Uh, but it, it was um, Labour's plans, which I think he, he endorsed, were condemned by the, the GMB union. For, 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 which they're, they're, they're paymasters, Mr. Speaker, uh, for, for, for meaning uh, that they'd be confiscating people's cars uh, by 2030, and, you, and families would be only allowed one aeroplane flight every five years, Mr. Speaker. COP26 is not a glorified photo opportunity. It is a fragile and complex negotiation, and, and the problem is bo boost, boosterism. The Prime Minister's boosterism won't cut carbon emissions in half. Photo opportunities won't cut carbon emissions in half. Let me tell him, what this summit needs is statesmanship, not partisanship, which we just heard from the Prime Minister. He should not be trying to score party political points on such an important issue facing our country and our world. Uh, um, that, that's never the way I did PMQs. Uh, now, now, let me ask him...